you want to decorate your house and want to look for some nice 3d projects to 3d print then stay tuned at zachary 3d prints bringing you prusa slicer 2.1 official version Hello, this is Zachary from Zachary 3D Prints, bringing you content about 3D printing, how to's, reviews, and many more things about 3D printing. If you are new to this channel, please consider subscribing to my channel and also like this video. But now let's get into to today's video, Prusa Slicer 2.1. I was testing a few weeks ago the beta version 2 of Prusa Slicer 2.1 but now I'm going to use the official version 2.1. Prusa Slicer is a great alternative for Cura 4 or other kind of slicing software. Like mentioned in the video of the Prusa Slicer 2.0, many people are used to use for example Cura Slicer as a slicing software which is not so bad but because of some errors in the program uh, people are tending to use a different kind of slicing software which is obvious and in this case you can use the Prusa Slicer or Slicer Prusa Edition 2.1 in this case so now we are going to well use it well i can't say test it but i'm not going to expect any kind of problems and bang here is the building plate and also the rest of the prusa slicer so okay on the right side you still have the printer settings the filament and the printer yeah the infill and the brim because i'm using the simple uh simple settings you can also change it into advanced then you get a little bit more and you can also switch it to expert more things are going to be added but in this case you won't see that much because i'm not having loaded any models just put it on simple and let's add the model to, to the building plate. For that, we're going to add. And then we are going to select the right folder. So now we are going to the place where I store all my 3D printing objects or models. As you can see, I've got it organized. I've got a folder here with 3D printing and then 3d printer calibration models 3d printers uh, and the three upgrade parts game models and also g codes ready to print sometimes i don't have any uh, sd card in my in my uh, laptop but also when i'm using for example octoprint i can put this g code right onto the octoprint so for both kind of ways, I already have the G code right onto my drive installed. So now we are going to game models because I believe that this model that we are going to, to do, this one, I hope it's visible because there's a lot of white. I will put it closer. This is the Black Swan version 2 it's created by fantasy graph i will put the link in the description i think this looks awesome to have on on in your uh, uh, cupboard or on your desk or on your makeup space area it's nice to have model so black swan version 2 by fantasy graph 
we double click on it and then we have the model who want to be the first so now the model is right there and we can just turn it around and as you can see on the right side you got the dimensions of the model it's in the size 73 by 67 and 134 uh, yeah in the Netherlands we say it differently and sometimes I need to rethink it about it no problem but living in the Netherlands is quite awesome sometimes but also yeah chilly in this kind of weather so here on the right side you have the object manipulation in simple mode you can uh, change some uh, scale factors you start with 100 but you can also make it off it well let's say 50 there it's a bit smaller so it's great because the scale factor you change it at one part and everything else is going up and down in the same direction or different directions so for example if your 3d printer has a building height of 180 millimeters then you just check out the last part so the height here is one uh one it's 67 so when i have a building height of 180 then i can just crank this up a little bit well we take 100 percent then it's 134 you can add 120 and just try it a bit more just crank it up a little bit so when i have a 3d printer and it's 180 high then you should look at the scale of 130 millimeters so you have a quite big model and it's looking very nice so let's take just 100 percent i think that's big enough you can put it everywhere and it's looking awesome when i was doing the first time this model i noticed that this little flap over here is not support because of the feet and because of the the two swords well the feet there's just one foot over there uh, you need to consider to keep that little flap over there in the description or in the readme file from this model it says no support needed if you have a decent 3d printer then this model is quite good to print but let's get into more details so now we are, before we are going to slice we have to make sure that everything every setting is correct especially when you just installed processor slicer 2.1 make sure that everything is correct for that we are going to the settings So layer height is 0.3, first layer height is 0.35, parameters is 3, uh, infill, we have 20% infill, in star shapes, then the brim, everything looks okay also for the printer settings the nozzle diameter is 0 0.4 Retra retraction is 2 that's okay do we have anything else printer settings filament settings 1.75 0 0.25 grams 
first layer yeah that's all correct so that's all set looks pretty much uh, okay <laughs> and now we are going to slice it just a second Prusa slice edition is working on it so in the meantime if you are new to my channel please consider subscribing and also please like and uh, this video it's still slicing so it's looking almost done um, slicer info it's on the right side um, used filament in meters uh, 31 meters and some <laughs> some centimeters um, used filament uh, 94.08 cost something like 2 euro 70 and the time for printing this is 5 hours and 2 minutes let's send this G code or in my case let's export the G code so now we are going to my file G codes ready to print and I'm using the ender 3 prints G codes when I click on it you already see that I have some G codes in there and we are going to save this one in it as well save and it's all done let's get into the printing so now we are going to 3d print the model So there you can see how well this slicer software is. Prusa Slicer 2.1 is a great slicing software to use. In this case, it's a very simple 3D printed model that everybody can 3D print. It doesn't need uh, to have any supports like in the description uh, from this model uh, it says and also it's great to have somewhere by a window or by your laptop or your gaming console or wherever you want to place it that being said thanks for watching this video of Zachary 3d prints more videos are going to come please consider subscribing to my channel like this video and I will see you next time happy 3d printing Zachary 3d prints